I'm a little bit peed off right now. I'd be honest. I want to know what is the freaking deal with some people. My freaking ex messaged me out of nowhere. I've tried being friends with her. I've tried being there for her. She pushes me away. And... Yes, I still love her. Yes, I wish things would work out. Even though right now, I don't see how they're going to work out. Like, But I'm not pushing it. But she messages me asking if I was still talking to one of her supposed friends that she's not even friends with anymore. I know what she was doing. She doesn't want me talking to this person. I mean, even when we were together, she didn't really want me talking to this person. Um... No, I'm not talking to this person because honestly, I think this person who she doesn't want me to be talking to is just a lying piece of crap. Go spreads lies about people and stupid stuff. But how are you going messaging me when all you've ever did was push me away? Saying talking to this person. I told her straight up, no. I told her to do me a favor. If you're going to message me about this crap, unless you want to be friends, don't ever message me again. Because I'm tired of feeling so much pain, so much hurt, and so much guilt when I don't deserve that. You decide to break up with me. And not only decide to break up with me. But decide you don't want to be friends at all anymore too. And feel you still have the right. To tell me who I can and can't talk to. Shortly, I went to church, and I joke around with people, have fun, joke around with my friends and stuff like that, and she tells me, even after we broke up, that we couldn't have fun, I, we're no longer together, you have no right to Before I just shut up and listen to her and just was like, okay, and it's because I loved her that I did that. I mean, of course, I didn't let myself be a pushover. That was some stuff. I but as far as stupid stuff like that, just me joking around and having fun, I was like, okay. But, um, how are you going to think that when you broke up with me, for no reason at all, still hasn't even given me a reason, other than she just stopped loving me. If you love someone, you don't stop loving them. Even if y'all get into a big argument and causes y'all have a big split up and you find someone new, you still have a place in your heart for that person. 
even though you can't let yourself get drawn back to them because it wasn't a healthy relationship, you still love that person. That love doesn't just go away. Obviously, we didn't get into no type of argument like that. I I was without work, and I was going like, it was about three months. And, yeah, me not working, I was getting depressed. And I couldn't afford bills anymore, so I had to move back in with my mom. And we had to go our separate ways, but we're still playing talking, going to church with each other. And a few weeks after we moved out, she messaged me and tells me she she, she wants to break up. I still have no idea why. But how are you going to not only break up with me, but also decide you want you don't want to be friends anymore, but still feel like you have so much control over my life? I want to be able to have a nice, friendly conversation, make each other laugh again, make each other smile. But anytime I try, she just pushes me away. I try talking to her about science. She's like, about science. right now, no, 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 no. Like, it'd be something simple, like, how you doing? Walks away. She messages me. And I feel like I don't need to be talking to her about that right now. Like, I get mad that she wants to ask me who or what I'm doing. When she doesn't even want to take time out for me. And she gets angry at me. And then she gets angry at me whenever I want to talk to her about something. But I for not want to. I'm angry.